What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to United Souls. I'm your boy Jay and today we have another review and unboxing of an Air Jordan 4 that has not been released in the last 15 years. But before we get into that, I want to send a huge shout out to my boy Wes. Um, he was recently out in Las Vegas and visited uh, Urban Necessities and he picked up this Crep Protect Urban Necessities uh, white piece for me. It's a collab that they did and uh, he surprised me with this. So um, let me see here. You guys can see uh, it comes with the Crep Protect wipes. These are essential for when you're on vacation and on the go and you have some heat on your feet. It's definitely a good thing to have in your pocket in case you, you know, get a scuff or any of that. You can definitely wipe it off with these uh, wipes. So a uh, huge shout out to you. Uh, thank you for this. I'll definitely be using this. Um, also, just a reminder, make sure you guys are picking up your Jess Suede from New Life Kicks. Um, this uh, product like I stated before has been formulated specifically for nubuck and uh, suede materials so um, if you clean any of your Toro 4s or, or the cool grays or any any of your shoes that have nubuck um, you could definitely damage them um, if you clean them with anything uh, that's out there currently in the market so like I said this is specifically formulated for uh, uh, for suede and nubuck um, I'll be leaving his information down below so you guys can go ahead and uh, head over to his website and his page um, so you guys can pick yourself up some of this just sweet. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. So I'm sure you guys already figured it out, but what I have here for you guys is the Air Jordan 4 Retro Cool Gray. Uh, colors is Cool Gray, Chrome, Dark Charcoal. Um, color code is 307 we got a size 9 on this pair uh, uh, for a retail price of $190. And these released on uh, August 1st, and this is a pair from the Sneakers app. So let's go ahead and open these up for you guys real quick uh, so we can take a look at them. This is actually my first time looking at these in hand, and they're actually not bad at all. Um, material feels okay. Um, so let's finish taking these out so we can take a quick look here with you guys. So like I said, the last time and the only time that this shoe has released is actually back in 2004. Um, this cool gray colorway actually picked up a lot of attention uh, back in 2001 when they did the Air Jordan 1 um, release. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, not Air Jordan 1. Air Jordan 11 cool gray. This was the first time the cool gray uh, color scheme came out. And then in 2004, they did um, the Air Jordan 4. Um, and a lot of people, have, you know, said that they had been waiting for this shoe, but it actually didn't sell out or any of that. So I don't know if it was just a matter of, uh, you know, they produced a lot of these pairs or people who were just not interested in once they got them in hand. Uh, and plus, there's been a lot of heat coming out lately and we're still waiting on a lot of heat to come out. So maybe that's why they skipped it. I don't know. But overall, the whole upper of the shoe, as you guys can see, it's Nuba Cool Gray. The midsole, we have a hits of white. Um, and also black and you have your air unit right there. Um, if we go towards the back, this is kind of interesting. They actually put a Jumpman um, chrome kind of like plate looking thing here. Um, they did not put the Nike air check in the back. Um, if we go to the sole, you guys have your two hits of yellow, the Jumpman and then the, this pot right here alongside with black and the um, white stars in the toe. So um, overall it looks pretty cool. So. Let's go ahead and get into the up close and detail review of the Air Jordan 4 Cool Gray. All right, let's go ahead and get into the up close and detail review of these bad boys. So let me start off like I always do. Let me show you guys here the size tag. Let me see if we can get it to, there you go. So you guys can see right there, we have a size nine for you guys today. So you guys could maybe use this for authentication purposes. I don't know. So let's go ahead and uh, put one here. So you guys could be looking at it and then let's go ahead and review this. So, uh, like I said, the whole upper of the shoe is made of a uh, Nubuck uh, material for the most part. Um, and it's all in the cool gray colorway. Now, um, it has a couple hits here of the dark charcoal here on the, on the lace loops. Um, and then the netting is cool gray as well. The netting behind the toe box here and the two sides, like, like uh, all the Air Jordan 4s have it. Uh, the tongue is made out of cool gray as well your patch uh, with the Jumpman there, and then you have the flight riding in yellow. If we come to the side of the shoe, um, you guys can see you guys have two hits of white alongside with some uh, hits of, of black, oops, of black here. Um, and then you have your air unit right on the back of the shoe where your heel would be. Now, this is something pretty interesting that they did. I wanna say the last time I saw this was on the Columbia 4s. 
um, maybe the Oreo Fours that released years ago that they put this kind of like a plaque uh, Jordan Jumpman here. I don't know. You guys can see it's kind of like chrome right there. Um, and it's not embroidered or anything. It's actually like a little plaque right there. And then the tab on uh, this uh, model is not the hard plastic. It's actually made out of the fabric as well. You guys can see it right there. So that's something uh, pretty interesting that they did. The inner portion of the shoe, identical to the outer. And then the sole itself, you guys can see it right there. You got mostly black with your head of yellow. You got white stars here on the toe. And then your yellow Jumpman right there. So let me go ahead and take this out so we, we can look at uh, what we have in here. Lace-wise, you just get a uh, flat uh, gray, cool gray laces. Your shoe tree, you get a cardboard shoe tree. And you should be getting this as well. Now, on the back of the um, your tongue, you are getting a yellow tag, the ones that says Air Jordan. Now, it says Air Jordan actually in, in yellow as well. So you got to, I don't know if it'll, the camera will catch the Air Jordan there or not. But there's that. And production dates on this shoe is, um, let's see. 3-2019 to 6 -519. So 3 to 6 -519 is the um, production dates. And the insole, you just get a little white Jordan Jumpman there on the inside with the cool gray sock liner and everything as well. So um, pretty much the shoe is cool gray all throughout. Um, so let me go ahead and put this back here together for you guys. Then we'll do a little 360 look at the shoe. So let me put them here side by side so you guys could see them. So here, here they are. Now this suede, um, it does not change color. So you know that tells you it, it's more on the little bit on the stiffer side. But yeah, it definitely does not change colors at all. So it doesn't have a lot of fuss to it. It's more on the stiffer end than than on the softer side. So you guys can see here the front. We'll do a little bit of the inside. And I'll be including pictures like always at the end of my video uh, so you guys could take uh, detailed looks at this as well. You know, maybe for authentication purposes, you guys could see the stitching and all that fun stuff. So there you guys have that. And there you guys have it. So now you saw the up close and detailed review of the Air Jordan Full Cool Gray. Let me know what you guys' overall thoughts are on the shoe. Is it something you guys picked up, maybe doubled up on, or it was a for sure pass for you guys? Uh, like I said, this shoe has not released in uh, 15 years. The last release was in 2004. Uh, but it, it's one of the more iconic uh, colorways, uh, which became famous, like I said, in the um, Air Jordan 11 back in 2001. Um, and then they put it on uh, this uh, um, Air Jordan 4 in 2004. So, um, but overall, I think the shoe is, is a good looking shoe. Me personally, I like the red colorway a little more than this. Um, and it would have been a, a little cooler if they would have put the Nike Air um, with the check here on the back. So, but that's just me personally. But overall, like I said, I think the shoe um, it was was executed pretty well. So, um, but let me go. Let me know uh, what you guys thoughts are on this. Um, there is not much uh, resale on this shoe as well. A lot of retailers still have it available. I believe even the sneakers app has it available. Um, but I'll go ahead and put a price list here for you guys so you guys could see uh, how much they're going for on the resale market. Um, I'm pretty sure they're either at retail or very, very close to retail um, currently on any of those reselling platforms. So, um, yeah, go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know. Um, and that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Uh, once again, I want to say thank you uh, for staying to the end of the video. I, got, I appreciate you guys' support. Uh, and before we get out of here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Also, smash that thumbs up for me. And that's all we have for you guys here today. So once again, I'm your boy Jay. We are United Souls. We'll see you next time.